Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose Stops Buying Stuff. I wasn't really planning to come on camera today, but it is Christmas Eve, um, so I wanted to just come on. My plan is, in theory, to edit this tonight and get it up on Christmas Day. Um, so I wanted to come on and just wish you all a Merry Christmas um, if you celebrate it and if you don't celebrate it then I just hope you've had as nice a time recently as you know possibly could be with 2020 obviously being what it's been. So it is Christmas tomorrow, it's Christmas Eve today and without kind of wanting to come across like a spoiled child because 2020 has been what it's been I know quite a lot of what I'm getting for Christmas tomorrow um, or I don't know for definite but I have ideas just because people have not obviously been able to get out and shop and things so I've been asked quite directly for lists of what I want um, and I know that there's definitely makeup in there because that was quite a lot of what I asked for um, so yeah I want to do one last declutter Today's decluster will be my last decluster of 2020, I think. Um, I've got a couple, I've got three empties videos, one of which I filmed, two of which I still need to film. And once I'm done them, that's going to be, I'm going to cut it off and figure out my kind of final totals, what I've achieved in 2020, and then get working on updating my inventory to add in um, the gifts that I know that I'm receiving. I feel like I sound like the most, like, all the things I know I'm getting tomorrow, but it, it's... It's just because this year has been what it's been, it's just a bit of a different Christmas um, and I'm obviously, I'm very grateful for the things that I get and all of that kind of stuff um, but I also want to try and make space for it so if I can do one last declutter today and get rid of some more stuff, um, that I just think that'll be a really good idea in terms of, I've said from the start of this, I definitely want to be better with money, that was part of why I did a no buy budget year, but the main kind of focuses for me have been the emotional attachment that I had to shopping and to acquiring things and the, the sort of high that I was getting out of it and how reliant I was becoming on that for my mental health. I really wanted to tackle that side of the shopping um, more so than the finance side because I figured if I could get sort of disattached from the emotional side of things the finances will kind of you know sort themselves out by default kind of thing um, but it's also the quantity of things I I mean I've done a no buy budget year and I still like I'm looking around this room at the moment and I just I still own so much stuff and this year I've not gotten rid of as much kind of makeup and beauty stuff as I thought I would have because I've not gone through it at the rate I usually would expect to go through it because 2020 has been what it is. So yeah, I thought I would do one last declutter and because it is Christmas, I'd like it to be a kind of advent themed declutter. So I'm aiming for 24 items out of this declutter to, to be chosen to get, to get rid of. So that's what we're aiming for, so let's get on into it. I've been moving furniture around, so bear with me because we're in a new setup. It'll hopefully just kind of look the same to you guys, but in terms of where the camera is and me kind of getting in around it, we might have some teething problems in this position, but hopefully it'll all be all right. Let's get on into it and try and find 24 things to declutter. So there's some really obvious things that I'm not decluttering to start with. One of them is this palette, which is from Tarte. It was a Christmas palette last year. I bought it in Florida. Um, so I'm definitely keeping that. And I'm also definitely keeping my Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette. So those two are getting kept and not counting towards my 24 items. Um... I've got some other newer bits, so these are things that I got for my birthday or in Edinburgh. I know I've still not filmed my Edinburgh haul, I will film it. So I'm keeping these, this is NARS Jane, although this is quite good. So I got this on sale in Edinburgh over the summer because it's in the Christmas packaging from last year. So this glittery red packaging, but I had this already and I feel like it just kind of dried out a bit. So although I'm keeping this, I'm going to get my other normal one declutter it in fact i'll get that just now and that moves it out okay i've just moved things about because i realized i was kind of standing blocking the light that's the swatch of jane there so this is my old jane which is a little bit dried up and things so i'm going to get rid of that 
I'm going to keep the new or newer Jane. I mean, the thing is, this was last year's Christmas packaging and these have a 12 month expiry on them. This one is like, I got this in Florida either 2013 or 2015. Like this is very old. So getting rid of this one. Then this was a birthday gift and I love it. It's um, Charlotte Tilbury, Karina Star packaging. And this is beautiful. I so nearly bought myself this in London last year. And then I just was like, oh, I really don't need more lipstick. But I ended up asking for it for my birthday and it's a really lovely soft peachy shade. Not a million miles removed from Jane actually overall, but keeping both definitely. And then the last of the sort of new things that I'm keeping is NARS. This is the Star Woman, which I love the name of obviously. And this is their liquid lip and it's like a classic red shade. So I'm definitely keeping them. I'm not keeping this from Milani. This is their um, matte lip cream, the shade 41 Fabulous. It's just quite drying and I do like the shade but I kind of own it in other formulas. Getting rid of that one. Two items. I think I'll get rid of this actually as well. So this is from Estee Lauder. It's like a double-ended pencil. Um, I do really like it. So that's the bronzy shade on one side and the gold on the other side is like really dried up. Um, you do get there eventually but I feel like that's partly why I'm getting rid of it if you can see that. I mean that was quite sore actually. Um, is that this just dries up and then I have to sharpen it for every use and I feel like now I've got the I can see it actually by Terry Ombre Black Star in the shade number 11 Beyond Gold which I'm keeping which I would always use above that pencil and then in terms of the bronzy shade I've got various other bronzy shades let's be real so yeah I'm going to declutter that three items decluttered keeping this it's another goldy shade which is from Shantikai it's their Sole shade and it's really really pretty it's a gold with a sort of pink shift to it and it's really really sparkly so definitely keeping that wore that the other day it's very nice sort of Christmassy shade. Another thing I'm keeping is this NARS palette which is really really pretty. Quite a basic palette but I feel like there's literally not one dud shade in here. I feel like you'd wear every single one of them. If I was ever going to do a pan that palette this would be quite a good one to do it with because you've kind of you can really sort of smoke out your nighttime shades and um, but you've got more daytime appropriate things too so Keeping that palette, I'm going to keep Benefit Dallas because I really like it as a blush. I'm keeping this, so this is from MAC, it's their Viva Glam, it was their 25th anniversary one. So Lauren bought me this for my birthday, not 2020 but 2019 I want to say. And it's just the standard Viva Glam, uh, Viva Glam 1 I think, yeah, Viva Glam 1 shade wise but it's in this beautiful sparkly red packaging which I absolutely love. You can tell when I like the packaging of something it stays in the box for a little bit longer. Right I'm not decluttering C3PO Star Wars palette so I've I talked about the other palette in the last video but yeah definitely not decluttering that. Not decluttering this either it's my Sephora Minnie Mouse palette um, the packaging's kind of annoying that it's sort of really big and bulky but the shades are really really nice and all actually really pigmented so Keeping that one. Okay, so I've got a couple of pencils here. So the first one is a Barry M eyeshadow pencil. I wore this, I think, the day I went to Newcastle and it creased up really badly, um, which I didn't use a primer, so I kind of to an extent have to expect that. But the whole kind of point was that I was away for the day, so I'd shoved this in my bag because it was going to be really easy. And when I used the By Terry the Ombre Black Stars, once they set, they very much set and they don't crease. Whereas this creased, and I feel like Using a primer is not an issue, but it's something I want to do when I'm using actual eyeshadows and when I'm in the house and things. Um, so this, the purpose that I wanted this for, which was to throw in my bag whilst I was away for the day and to not have to think about it, it really didn't serve. And the colour is not that unique, so I'm going to declutter that one. Speaking of the Ombre Black Stars, this is the shade number one Black Pearl, which is, as you would expect... A black pearl so I'm definitely keeping that. I really, I've spoken about these before but I really do think these are excellent excellent eyeshadows. Then I've got some pencils here so I've got NYX Los Angeles lip liner which I'm definitely keeping. So that's it there. Kevin Kwan the flesh toned lip pencil in the shade Blood Roses which I'm going to keep for now. I've actually finished all my lip liners in terms of I've used them all and they've all either been in here or been through that process. But I feel like I need to get them all together because I'm sure I probably own other things in that shade. But I want to look at them. I'm kind of using this as a way of getting rid of things that didn't perform that well. And then I want to kind of consider 
the remaining collection within each category, if that makes sense. Um, I've got a Bobbi Brown lip liner here in the shade Sangria, which I'm definitely keeping. I love this shade. This is a Burberry. This is Union Red, which I'm definitely keeping. And then this is an eyeliner. It's the Longcomb Just the Black Coal Eyeliner. And I really, really like these Longcomb eyeliners, so I'm keeping that. With this, I actually used this from Stila. It's one of their Glitter and Glow shadows. This is the shade Molten Midnight. Definitely dried up, but still, still sparkly. I haven't tried to sort of revive this yet. But I want to keep hold of it for now. My friend Lauren, she, I think she used eye drops with it. But what she did was she kind of took it out and put it on the back of her hand and mixed the eye drops in when she was applying it rather than putting it into the actual tube. Um, so I'm going to mess around with that. I know it's like, it's quite dried out and things, although it's still super, super sparkly. And I layered it over that so you kind of, you didn't really notice that the sort of background wasn't there anymore. So yeah, when I used it, it was over the top of this. So that was how the two looked together. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep that for now, basically. I'm going to declutter this. So this is from Dose of Colours. It's the shade Maroon and it's one of those duos where there's cream on the top and like a press glitter in the bottom. It's nice, but it's just like, this is a little bit of a faff to use. And I feel like since I got this, there are so many other formulas, even like the ColourPop press glitters and stuff that I have sort of similar shades to this in that are easier to use. I think one of the things I've really noticed this year is just, unless it's a real special occasion or a really special product, I don't want things I have to faff about with um, or things that make a mess, particularly eyeshadows when they're loose. I tend to do my base and then decide what to do with my eyes and then if I go to use these, they sort of end up with loads of fallout and you have to redo your base half the time. It's just, I'm just not about that life at the moment, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna come back to this. This is kind of a maybe. I'm definitely keeping this. So this is one of my Marc Jacobs palettes. I feel like I say every time I talk about Marc Jacobs makeup, but I just do not feel that it gets the hype it deserves. So this palette is the Smartorial one, and it's the sort of bluey shades, cool toned, very, very pretty shades. The thing is, I think it looks like a really blue palette, but if you kind of cover those two, it's actually quite sort of like sludgy neutral palette, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I do. I think this is really, really beautiful and I'm definitely keeping it. This is another really beautiful one. This is from Pat McGrath and it's the shade Mercury. So that is that one there and I'm definitely keeping that as well. What are you? Illamasqua. How will, do you know what? I think I'm going to get rid of this. I felt like this was really, really drying, probably just from age. Um, yeah, like it's even dragging, like to swatch it on my arm there. And the colour is nice, but I definitely own other similar colours. So I'm going to discont... I'm going to... I was going to say I'm going to discontinue. Um, I'm going to declutter Illamasqua Howl. I'm definitely keeping this from Love the Planet. I've spoken about them before. I was gifted this. They are a plastic-free makeup company. This is their eyeshadow in the shade Neutral Brown. I was wearing it in the video that I did about the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. It's such a beautiful brown eyeshadow. Just can throw it on. It goes with any lipstick. I love it so and obviously the brand is doing very good things so definitely keeping that what are you you are a dior quint this is the shade golden reflections and i'm going to keep that lorac pro i'm a bit torn about this one i think i'll maybe put i'm putting these in the maybe pile i'm going to see if there's other things i can declutter because i'd like to keep them but they're sort of on the fence okay i'm keeping this this is that party blush that was the Sephora point perk and yeah as you can see I've like used this enough that the rings are showing not quite hit pan yet um I feel like everyone except me has panned this blush and I would quite like to pan it at some point um but I do really like it as a blush so I'm going to keep that okay these are some things I'm definitely not keeping these are from Kevin O'Quan and they're all the same shade they're all the blood roses this is the eyeshadow so I'll swatch it for you so you can even see from the swatch how kind of patchy that is. It doesn't apply well, creases really badly, and I like the colour when I get it after a lot of work built up and blended to the point that I like it. Um, but I feel like it's so much work because it blends away so quickly to basically nothing. Um, that I then have to, you know, it's, it's such a faff. Again, that's like my key thing, is this is a faff, and I have other eyeshadows in a similar colour that perform without the faff. So I'm getting rid of that. This is the liquid lit. I got a box a few years ago that was like a Kevin O'Quan Blood Roses box. That's why I have like so much in this 
shade and it's a nice shade but it's a very me shade to the point that I own other things. Although it does do that thing, as you can see just from looking at, that's the eyeshadow, liquid lipstick and normal lipstick all in blood roses and they're all different shades which really annoys me. I feel like if you're going to do that, like keep the shade names the same, you need to keep the shades the same. So yeah, getting rid of this because it was patchy. This is nice but it's just, I own this shade and other formulas that I like more and this lipstick is one of those really sort of wet, shiny ones. I much prefer a sort of matte lipstick. Don't know what it is about me, but I feel like if a lipstick's got slip to it, I will end up with it all over my face. I don't know if I'm just very expressive when I talk. I don't know if it's just because I've got a bit of a kind of funny, I've discussed this in great detail in my Lisa Eldridge video, but my lips kind of exist but close in on themselves at the end and that kind of makes for smudging as well. Um, so generally, yeah, any lipsticks that are that sort of very moisturizing, shiny, kind of formula end up all over my face which if it's a colour like this there is no hiding so yeah I'm getting rid of them. Let's swatch a couple of the liquid lips so that we can let them dry. I know I'm definitely not getting rid of this so this is Too Faced Gingerbread Man. It's one of my favourite lipsticks. That is that one there. That is just I'm not going to bother waiting for that to dry and assessing it like I'm definitely keeping that one. Um, then I've got Kat Von D Vampira or Vampira that's that one there. I've got another Kat Von D one or KVD Beauty as it is now which is in the shade Project Chimps which I'm definitely keeping. I really really like this shade so that's Project Chimps. Then I've got ABH Catherine liquid lipstick and then Colourpop Wonderboy which is from the Disney designer collection. This is the the Meg one. Put them there whilst these are drying down. So I'm going to keep this. It's a NARS palette with um, blushes, then bronzer and contour. I don't use the bronzer so much, but I use everything else, so keeping that. And I'm also going to keep this NARS palette. Again, it's blushes. And I'm definitely keeping this palette. I feel like I tell everyone I know in real life about this, but I don't know if I've talked about it on my channel, but this is the e.l.f. blush palette. Now, I got the dark shade, even though obviously I'm very pale, and they are super, super pigmented, but these are just such beautiful shades. Um, You know, they last really well. They're just, yeah... I feel like I've like, made everyone I know in real life buy this palette because it's such a bargain and the shades are so beautiful. So I'm definitely keeping that. Right, I'm getting rid of this. So this is from Bobbi Brown. It's similar to that Kevin O'Quan lipstick in that it's the formula. So this is the Look Slip Colour Formula and this is the shade Red Berry number 19. It is, I've used it like once. It is absolutely beautiful. Like look at that colour. It is so, so stunning, but it's a very, very wet formula again, so I'm going to get rid of it. Something I'm not going to get rid of is my other Marc Jacobs palette, so this is the Scandalous palette. Warm, neutral palette with that little pop of red. Again, no cover that and it's very much a neutral palette. It just looks more red as soon as that one's on show. Um, so very wearable. Kicks up a lot around this shade, as you can maybe see. Um, but I do think it's a beautiful palette, so I'm definitely keeping that one. I think these are more or less dried down, so this is... Gingerbread Man, which we're keeping, KVD Beauty, Vampira, KVD Beauty, Project Chimps. This is ABH Catherine, and this is Wonder Boy. I think we're going to keep all of them actually just now. So, yeah, keeping all four of these. So just quickly, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. So, another 14, and we've achieved the goal. I feel like I've got more jumping out of me going, no, I definitely want to keep that. So I definitely, definitely want to keep all of these straight away. So this is from Hourglass. It's the blush and dim infusion. I've got two of these and I love them both. So that's dim infusion. It's a very sort of neutral blush. Probably only suitable for the very pale amongst us like myself. But I do absolutely love it. So I'm keeping that. I've also got the NARS Orgasm Blush, which I really like, the liquid one. This was a gift back at the start of lockdown. Matte bronzing collection this year. It's the shade Cote d'Amour. I got two of these. Cote d'Amour and um, Can Do. Very, very lovely. Then this lipstick I'm definitely keeping from Bourjois. It's the shade number 12 Brunette, which is beautiful. Last but not least, uh, Diego Della Palma. This is the shade Savannah, which is just absolutely stunning. So I'm definitely keeping that. Okay, so we've got a couple of, handful of MAC lipsticks here. Let's go through them. So this one is the shade Princess Incognito, which I really like. And I wore this in Florida last year. Um, 
definitely keeping that one. This is Lady Danger, one of my absolute faves. That is Lady Danger there, which I'm definitely keeping. Which are you? Mac Whittle. So that's that one there. I think I'm going to declutter this one. It's one of those sort of cool nude tones that I don't think I actually suit very much. Oh, hello, Santa Cat. Hello. So I'm going to declutter Whittle. There we go. Girl About Town. That's Girl About Town. I think I'll keep that. I don't have a lot of pink lipsticks. It's not a kind of problematic category for me. So I think I'll keep that one. Lickable. This is my other pink lipstick. I basically have these two. Coat Dimmer, which I got this year. And then Marc Jacobs Charlotte. And that's pretty much my sort of pink lipsticks. Um, and then I got Elise Eldridge. Is that you off Sansa with that thump and a half um, pink lipstick? But yeah. I think I might declutter Lickable actually. Yeah, I'm going to declutter Lickable. I like these sort of rich pinks better than this one. So yeah, I'll keep Girl About Town, but I'm decluttering Lickable. I'm definitely not decluttering this one. So the last one is Marrakesh. It's one of my newest ones as somebody who's been on a no-buy for a while. Um, I got this in Florida last year and I love it so, so much. It's a sort of beautiful, warm, in the gingerbread family, but like darker than Too Faced Gingerbread Man. Um, so I'm keeping that one. I'm going to go clean my arm and let Sansa out so that you don't need to listen to her bell. Okay guys, we've got 12 things. We're halfway. Right, let's try and get another 12. Okay, definitely keeping this from YSL. It's like one of the oldest items in my collection. It's a jewel of a kind of a brownie shade and a greeny shade. Absolutely love them. Um, definitely keeping this from By Terry. So this is a, it's sold as a powder, but it's the shade number seven, Sun Desire, which I use as a sort of bronzy blush. And I think it's beautiful, so I'm definitely keeping that. A half red lip liner by MAC, definitely keeping. Colourpop lippy sticks in the shade Who Run This. This is beautiful, I'm definitely keeping it, but I'll just swatch you to show. So it's another sort of gingerbread shade. I know I own too many of them, but I do absolutely love them, so I'm keeping that. And then this is Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Vixen. Um, I think I'll keep this just now. And again, I'll, I want to look at my lip liners once I've got them all together and see which things I own more than one shade for and things. Um, but I'm going to keep them just now. Right, I've got the next liquid lipstick here. This is in the shade Cherry Skies. I've spoken about these liquid lipsticks before. They go a little bit patchy after a while. This one's actually still all right, but I think because of that, I'd rather pass this on and let somebody get the use of it while it is still all right, um, rather than me just keeping it until it takes me however long to get back round to it again. So I'm going to pass that one on. Here's something I'm going to get rid of. So this is the NARS Orgasm um, Highlighting Powder. It's like a loose powder. So again, it's that thing where it's messy to use. But if I show you that, like, it's not a highlighter in me. It's practically an eyeshadow. It's messy to use. It's a pain. I've got other eyeshadows that are designed to be used as eyeshadows. Um, so yeah, it's it's very, very lovely, but I don't use it. It's a half to use and I'm going to just pass it on to somebody who's tanned and could use it and look absolutely beautiful and glowy and gorgeous. I think I'll get rid of this. This is a Kiko eyeliner, Graphic Ritual Kajal and Eyeliner in the shade O2. It's a greeny colour, but it's quite a kind of, quite unique in my collection in a sense and that I don't own, like most of the greens I own are sort of emerald greens, but there's a reason for that. That's because those are the shades that I wear. Um, so it's a bit different, but I really don't reach for it. So I'm going to get rid of it because I feel like I probably own a fun green eyeshadow like this in like an Urban Decay palette or maybe even that Disney palette um, that if I wanted that colour, I could get it that way. So I'm going to declutter this. I just had to charge the camera battery a little bit. So whilst I was doing that, I pulled out a couple of things that I'm definitely wanting to declutter. First thing is another one of the NYX um, liquid lipsticks. So this is in the shade Sandstorm. Again, same as before. After a while, these shades become just quite patchy. This one, again, is not too bad, but it's going to go that way eventually. So I'd rather just pass it on to somebody who can get the use of it before it goes that way, rather than it sitting in my makeup collection till I get back around to it. So I'm going to pass that on. This is another one. Um, it's similar to the Kevin O'Quan one. This is, again, an expensive brand. It's by Sizzly. Um, and I love their skincare, but I've not tried a huge amount of their makeup. This is the only eyeshadow I've ever tried. It's the shade Burgundy number 11. Um, and I was just really disappointed with it. Again, I mean, like, that's what that looks like on my finger. And then when you swatch it out, it's just nothing. And you can build it up, but it just 
again takes so much work it creased really badly on me um, and I just have other eyeshadows that will do the same job so and do it better so I'm going to pass that one on. So these are two ABH eyeshadows um, so I'm not passing on this one which is I want to say is brick or something. Yeah, this is the shade Brick by ABH. It's one of my favourite sort of neutral go-to brown shades. But this shade Rosette and it's just it's just an alright shade. Again, it creases quite badly on the eyes and I'm just not in love with it. So I'm going to pass that one on, but I'm keeping keeping Brick. Brick I absolutely love and would recommend to anybody. In a sort of similar vein, these again are all individual shadows that I have collected. These are all MAC ones. Woodwinked, Amber Lights and Nylon. I'm keeping the three of them and then I'm getting rid of these two colours at the end. So this one is Chrome Yellow and this one is Red Brick. So that's Chrome Yellow, Red Brick and I do like them but they're just ones that I own better formulas of, um, like the chrome yellow is a bit chalky and they're both very very old in my collection so they've probably turned over time um, but yeah I've just get I've just get better performing versions of these now so I'm gonna get rid of those two. So I've got 20 things here guys, I wanted another four, I've got another five that I'm gonna get rid of, um, the camera battery needs to charge so I was just going through the box while it was charging. I pretty much want to keep everything else here so I think I'm just going to move that into storage so that I can continue with a fresh box going forward because everything here is something I want to keep other than these five. So these five are first of all another three of the NYX liquid lipsticks so this is the grey one which I think I got for Halloween one year and it's the shade Stone Fox then this one is Soft Spoken and this one is amethyst. I'll actually swatch them just so I know if I can pass them on or if they've gone kind of patchy already. Stone Fox actually looks alright. Soft Spoken kind of looks alright too. And then Amethyst. Yeah that looks good too. Um, so yeah I mean certainly those two are more sort of fun colours but I'll pass them on and if somebody else wants to put them in the bin that's fine. Um, but I feel better passing them on if they are still usable. Um, and that they can be cleaned and used. So that's another three. This one I am going to bin and it's nothing to do with the actual lipstick because I really like the colour. It's the Wet n Wild in the shade Cherry Bomb um, but as you can see the packaging is broken. That is the colour. It's very very lovely but yeah I'm just gonna put this in the bin. Um, those lipsticks are like three dollars. They're fantastic. And then the last thing I'm going to get rid of is this from L'Oreal and it's the Le Matte Crayon. This is the red one and it's very nice but again it's just the sort of thing that I own better in other colours. It's not very long lasting. I got the nude one of this first and this was like such a typical example of the fact that I really love the nude one. So then I did that thing where I thought if I've got one that I really love getting more from the range is the way forward. Um, and yeah, I've never loved any of the other ones that I've bought as much as I just love the one that I bought to start with. But yeah, so that is five things that I'm getting rid of, which means my Christmas declutter has been very successful. I've got 25 items here that I'm getting rid of. So I'm very, very pleased with that. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for being subscribed to my channel in 2020. Obviously, it's it has not been the year any of us thought it was going to be um, but I really appreciate those of you who have stuck around and you know still engaged with me and yes Merry Christmas if you celebrate it have a nice day if you don't celebrate it well I'm hoping that I'll be speaking to you before New Year anyway so yeah I'll say Happy New Year in a future video bye